John Waver, he's coming down the uh, road there. We're we here at Signature Healthcare, him. huh? We finally found him. We finally found him. We've been looking for him for about an hour now. I, I, he told me he was excited, but I didn't know he was so excited that he wouldn't even show up. Well, I was worried about him. Was you worried about him? I would have been, too. He's trying to cancel this exciting event. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? See, these nurses ain't just going to let you wander off. We're going to get this on Yes, we get to get it all here, Don. Y'all make him sign out, do all this properly, you know, otherwise he'll get. He'll, yeah. He's been accused of injustice. Y'all roll from the bed, I'll tell you what. We wouldn't talk poorly about you at all, Don. Seven years comes down to a few hours now. Seven years down to a few hours. Do you really want to go get her? Oh, my Lord. It's been seven years since I've seen her. Yeah. You're going to have to teach him how to use FaceTime or something like that. Well, he uses Skype. Oh, okay. Skype's okay. Uh, video Skype? Yeah. yeah. That's what got it all started. We're not talking about that. Yeah. Got started. got started with the video Skype. Yeah. Yeah, Don, we'll have to, uh, you'll have to share your story with how this worked out and everything and, and let's talk in the chapel where we were talking stuff so Mike can share it. Let everybody know why you, how this come about. How this come about, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to go. Here he is heading out to the airport, Nashville, Tennessee, about two hours away. We're going to go up there and pick up somebody. Where are you picking up now? Who are we getting, Don? What are we doing? My daughter, Kayla Beth Weaver. Well, they can't hear you. What's her name? Kayla Beth Weaver. Kayla Beth Weaver. Yeah, how would you come up with that name? That's a long story. Oh, okay. I need to introduce you to a buddy of mine who uses one of these wheelchairs like a, a go-kart. He's paraplegic, and uh, he can make one run about 40 miles an hour. All right. Yeah. I think I can. So where are we going now? we got to get on a van or something like that? They're throwing us a party, Don. They're throwing a party in there? Well, that's good to get a party going. Look at him in there. See y'all. Well, we got to get out of here. They keep you locked in this place, I think. I don't know. Don Don just signs itself out. Boy, it sure is windy at that door. <laughs> Load my hair plum off. Pumping all kind of air out there. I'm going uh, to the airport here with Mr. Don Weaver, and uh, uh, we're going to pick up his uh, daughter. Just going to be a nice little trip. Bye bye. Going in the Signature Healthcare van, and they've got a nice little thing for uh, step up. Hugging his neck there, Barry Cotton. So I told him seven years to come down a few hours now. I'm telling you, I used to take a lot of people out of Well, don't you squall on me or anything. Oh, that's, you have to leave that to me. I, that's the reason I like, don't like them Hallmark movies there. They're, they, they make me cry. <laughs> they had uh, Christmas in July here. Yeah. This is the Hallmark Mobile here. Well, we 
you say? Do you say it's like open sesame? You say up, done. You ready? Yeah, up. <laughs> <laughs> Looked to me like it came down there a minute. This is a week long adventure you've been waiting seven years for. <laughs> So he's not driving, is he? Yeah, we're gonna let Don drive. Oh, okay. He's <laughs> nervous. He's so nervous he couldn't drive anyway. Maybe you ought to drive, Mike. Oh no, I, I I'm even getting Miss Pat to drive tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know so. All right, let's get he heading on that trail, okay? All right. All right. This is WCBN. We'll see you all down the road. We're sponsored by Signature Healthcare. Okay, well, we're heading down the road here. We'll see. Done. Uh, how did this get started? This all got started. My daughter one night called me crying. Go up about not seeing me for seven years. And so... I went to uh, Brother David, which is our chaplain, and my pastor. I told him, I said, regardless of what we do, I've got to see my dog. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. I'm just asking you to start talking to me. All right, hold on. I I never thought this day would would ever come. Well, it's here, and uh, we're on our way to figure out. I think she's supposed to land about 5:55. 5:55. Yeah. This is a, only her second flight ever. Second flight ever? Second flight ever. And she's so excited. Well, uh, she's flew as many times as I have. But I just, uh, Mr. Mike, I personally want to, to thank everybody that's involved in this. A lot of people have made this happen. Well, you know, one thing you can say about Houston County, that they have a good heart. Don, why don't you go ahead and tell us the story about what the guys, the gals out of TBA done for you. How quick they jump. Well, uh, I tell you what, the, the TBA guys, after, after everything started rolling, within about uh, 24 hours, I had about, what, $1,600? Yeah, we had raised sixteen hundred dollars within twenty-four hours. We called the uh, White View and uh, kind of let him in on what was going on. And within like two hours, the, the people from TVA showed up. The White showed up over what was seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars in like two hours, wasn't it? Yeah. And then it, two it hours. just started just running. Like the red flood jumped after that. They gave two hundred. Like I said, within within sixteen hours, we raised a committee. 16, over $1,600 to this uh, event. And in just a 24-hour period, we had $1,600 committed dollars. So is it, it's, it's like a, it's like, it really is like a dream trip. And it's a dream trip, and I tell you what, I've learned more about uh, this community in the last two months than I uh, ever thought I could learn, because the community is just jumped in and made this happen and I really, really Here, truly appreciate it. Here's you one, Don. Just kind of briefly, because you're really on an emotional high right now, take it in from when you come to the nursing home and the way you thought and just kind of throw, tell everybody how you was then and then tell them how you feel now. I, when I first come to the nursing home, I thought my, my life was over as far as being part of the community and, and being uh, 
uh, having real people that cared about me. But this this uh, this event right here has shown how much people really care about me. And 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 but when I first come in, I didn't want to deal with reality. I didn't want to deal with nothing. But but I. But all, through the years and months, I come to think, I've come to find out that the community still loves me, and I really appreciate that. And uh, it makes a difference, Don. I, I, you know, but like I say, it used to, uh, uh, I had a fellow the other day tell me that Houston County is one of the most giving. Mr. Mike, I've never seen people give like they've give to this this uh, uh, undertaking, bringing my daughter back here, and uh, they just like I said, within 24 hours we had sixteen hundred dollars. We didn't even reach out, really, did we, Don? We never even never really opened up to people. His own parents were like, y'all didn't even ask us. We would have give. It was just, we didn't have to. There was, there was so much more, right? Yeah. And, and we didn't even have to gather, right? I tell you what, it's like, it's like you really find out who your friends are one time. Yeah. And Dwight do I've known him. Uh, we was in school together. Me and David and Dwight was all in school together. And Dwight made the statement that we help our own. And, and and uh, and I really, they'll never know just how much I I really appreciate this. Words cannot uh, express how much I really love and appreciate everybody. Well, it's going to be an exciting week, ain't it, Nate? Yes, it is. Well, we're going to try to catch part of it. We'll we'll be with our uh, meeting. We haven't seen her about. Yeah, that's right. You've got family coming in too, don't you? Just coming in in the morning, man. She's actually made my goddaughter years ago, so, uh, so I guess it'd be like uh, you, my son, and one of my daughters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Dad. I just, uh, you're welcome. I just want to personally uh, say that I really appreciate everything everybody's done. Hey, I, and I guess what I'm most excited about is Don. This ain't. This is just the beginning of what we're going to work toward. You remember what Dwight said? He said, oh, "I don't even worry about it." He said, "We're going to go and get next year started." So it's yeah. exciting. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, we'll take, give you a little break here, Don, from uh, talking so much and uh, get on down the road here. That's all right. Uh, that'll be fine. All right.
Bitte raus. I'm just going to put the microphone on you, leave it on while everything happens. You know, um, and I'll ask you a couple of quick questions right now.
they call it. And uh, you haven't seen her for several years? Seven years. Seven years. Uh, and uh, you're Kayla? Yeah. All right. And how old are you, Kayla? Fourteen. Fourteen. Well, I don't have that is. You, boy, I tell you what, if she was here, you'd have to have more than you can help. I know that to be a fact. Yes, sir. Uh, I've got a granddaughter that's uh, that age, in fact, a couple of them. You know one of them, or she does, Kayla does anyway, because uh, you lived here for years. And, uh, uh, you're living in Oregon? Yeah. And uh, did you uh, fly in here? Yeah. Well, but was that because that chicken you was eating today? <laughs> <laughs> so you, tell me all about you been doing, Don. I mean, you've been, you've been telling me you've been every day like that. Well, oh. Uh, Tuesday morning we got up and we went to, where did we go to? We went swimming. Went swimming. Tuesday afternoon out at her grandparents, my, my mom and dad. Then Wednesday we went, to, the facility took us bowling and we had a good time doing that and spent the whole day doing that. And then we went out to eat and, uh, and then we come in and just spent some quality time together. And then Thursday, we went to Seven Flags in Dixon and did go-kart riding up there. And that was a good that good time up there. That was real fun. And played some games and everything. So we had a lot of fun up there. 
And then Friday we went to the mall and she had a ball in the mall. Did you do a lot of shopping? Yeah. You did a lot of shopping? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd have been in Dad's pocket too also, better than me. Uh, I, I, I didn't know they had the seven flags in Dixon. Uh, that's uh, something we need to push, I think. Yeah. Where is it at? Uh, I really didn't, uh, I, I don't know what it's close to. Is it cl uh, close to the Walmart out there? Or is it cl no, I, it's pretty close to the Walmart out there, Dixon Walmart, I think. And, uh, and you rode go cars Yes. She drove me and I rode along. Oh, I thought you was driving your own. No, no, she drove me. Oh, okay, all right. That was quite... Go ahead. I'd like to see the race. I mean, you know. It was quite the experience. And what about bowling? Uh, did you beat him, Kayla? No. He I beat, beat you? Mm -hmm. I beat her, but we had a great time. Okay. And where'd you go bowling now? We went to uh, the Pinnacle in Clarksville. Oh, okay. I've been there before. Uh, I'm not sure that I didn't do uh, uh, one of my physical education classes there at Monster P, so I was curious about that. Uh, so, uh, are you going to be coming back uh, anytime soon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to just make it, just kind of schedule it regularly or something like that? Yeah, she's going to be here probably next year or the year after that, but probably next year. Okay. Going to make it like a yearly type vacation. Yeah. He's mean, but I, 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 I come see him anyway occasionally, you know. <laughs> no, I'll, just kidding. I'll tell you what, we've had a, we, we want to we wanna stress, we want to thank the community for what they've done for us. And I, I, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Well, we like that. You know, I'm sure there's people out there like that. Uh, and uh, so you're going to be here next year. We're going to try to plan a trip for next year. And, uh, uh, what did you do today? I mean, you get ready, she's going to leave out at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. 3 o'clock. We're, we're just going to have a kind of a lazy and have a lot of father-daughter uh, talks today. She's going to tell you what she's doing and you're going to listen. Yes, I'm going to listen. Yes. Uh, that's, that's most of the father-daughter talks that I have. Yes. Uh, mine was son and uh, father. They just told me what they wanted me to do, not what was really going on. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Am I telling the truth? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what you, your opinion of your trip this time. I liked it. It was really fun. It was really fun? Yeah. Well, any particular experience more than any other? I like bowling. Oh, bowling fun. I like to bowl. I have bowl for so many years. Let's see, you, you still just get the ball and toss it. <laughs> I'm just curious about that, you know, I, uh, what, what all went on out there. Uh, so, uh, play the next year, leave 3 o'clock in the morning, you've had a good week. Yep, I had a real good week. Well, I'm proud of all of that. Anything you special else you want to say to the people out there before we close out? Just thank, thank them again for everything they've done. I really, I really appreciate it. Well, I'm sure that uh, they're, they're the ones that feel blessed. So uh, with that, we'll close out. We're WCBM Channel 12, your local community station here in Houston County, sponsored by Signature Healthcare. We'll see you down the road. Bye-bye. Wave!